Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you how you can download all of your photos from Flickr. Uh, this is a video version of a blog post I did and you can read the, the full instructions at archivingtips.com. Now you may be wondering why you would want to download all of your photos on Flickr. And it's mainly due to the unpredictable nature of some of the internet companies. A long time ago in the 90s, there was a company called PhotoPoint that I believe was one of the first photo sharing sites on the internet. And it uh, went out of business unexpectedly and... Uh, they just put a message up on their website that uh, said if you want your photos you have to pay twenty dollars to get a uh, CD and uh, here's a screenshot of that uh, notice that they put up on photo point back in uh, 2001 just for your entertainment So, just to be on the safe side, it's always a good idea to have a backup copy of photos you've uploaded, especially if you've got into the habit of only uploading them to that location. So anyway, for whatever reason, whether you want a backup for yourself or just to protect in case a photo sharing company goes bankrupt or whatever. Here is how you can download all of your photos from Flickr. All right, so the first step is going to be to just log into your Flickr account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now on my end. All right, so I've logged in. And now let's look at the first set of instructions that I made. Now, before you begin, you also, once you get logged in, you may want to double check your contact settings in your account to make sure they have the correct updated cell phone number and email address so that in case you get locked out of your account, you will have a way to recover your login information. All right, so there's three ways to download your photos. The first one is to simply request all of your Flickr data. And you do that once you log in, you click on your profile photo, which is in the upper right corner. And then you'll click uh, this link that says settings. Then you scroll down and on the bottom right side, you should see a section that says your Flickr data. And it looks like this. And actually, this is what it looks like before you request. You know, click this blue request my Flickr data and double check the email, make sure you have access to it. And once it has everything ready to go, it will email you a link and you can simply download all of your photos and videos with that link. On my account, I had several thousand photos, so it took about a day before I got the email. And let's see, once I did, it then had this section called uh, your Flickr data, and then it has uh, your account data, and then links to the various photos and videos. So with mine, I had 19 different zip files to download. From there, you can simply save them to your computer or to an external hard drive. And once they're downloaded, you will officially have a backup of all your photos. Now, the next way to download your photos is uh, to go back to the main Flickr homepage and then uh, look 
right by the Flickr logo, there's a link that says you. And then you're going to scroll down and click this camera roll option. From there, you can uh, start selecting photos and videos that you would like to download. And then uh, this will pop up. Here's an example. Once you select, like this one, I selected five photos. And then it'll give you this option to download. Then it will prompt you like this to create a zip file. And then it will send you a notification in your Flickr mail when it is ready. And here's an example of what the notification looks like. And that is pretty much it on that method. Pretty simple. And the third method is you can download your photos by album if you have them organized by al album. Like in this example, I have an album called Porto Adventurists, and it has this little download link. And you can click that, and you will get the same prompts just like the other two methods. And that is pretty much it. Once you have them all downloaded, it's up to you. You may want to make another backup perhaps one on your computer, another one on an external hard drive, or you may want to use another uh, photo service such as Google Photos or iCloud. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions or have any comments, feel free to leave one below. Thanks a lot.